Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase. Now remember that big ship that I did last time? I believe it was the Aeon Light Transports. Now imagine that ship, but five times bigger and built for at least 500 players. Say hello to the Argos Star Cruiser. Now it doesn't look that big, does it? But let me get a bit closer to it and let me switch to first person. It's a wee bit bigger than me, I think. Now this thing, I've looked around at it a lot. There are just so many floors and so much to see that I haven't found everything. I can't even find where to bloody drive this ship. It's that big. So around the front here, we have a very, very fancy thing. I believe that is where you drive, is that not? I might have to break in there later. Huh? That's how I got into this ship before. So I couldn't actually find the entrance to the ship. So I had to make my own entrance up the top here. So we have like coming around the side, we have giant like little docking bays. And ugh, that sun is so bright. So let me just try and get rid of the sun for a second. Yeah, it's very basic around the side. That's the doorway in, which is all the massive flashing lights. That's how you know where to go in. Took me a very long time to work that out. We've got a little gun on the side here. And behind we have a giant load of hydrogen thrusters. And up top we of course got the bridge command and everything else. That's where I entered in from originally. I never filled in the gap. So yeah, let's enter in the proper way, shall we? So the entrance, you have a little connector there by the way, in case you want to connect something to it. Oh, and I suppose we better look underneath it before I go in. Now underneath it, it's basically like a little connector thing. A little doorway, might as hatch there, a lot of like trolley things. This thing can't land on planets, by the way. It strictly is for space and space only. And I doubt you want to go near a planet with this thing anyway. Because if you crash it, it's not going to go very well. So here is a little entrance. Let me land right here and open up the little door. So we have a little airlock type system in here, which is very fancy. There's no mods in this, um, on this ship, by the way. This is all vanilla blocks. And it must have taken a very long time to do. So every single door in here has a label on it. So we've got manufacturing if you want to build something. Like so, it's very fancy. And then over here we have deck 2 and deck 3 stairwell. This is where it starts to get a little funny by the way. I'm going to leave that door open. We've got air vents everywhere. We've got tons and tons of like little signs everywhere that tell you absolutely everything. But it's where we get to the big stairwell which is rounds. Oh, let's take a look down here. It looks nice, doesn't it? But yeah, when we get to the big stairwell, it's where it starts to get a bit dodgy. So here's the stair. I believe this is the stairwell. So we keep going up and up and up. This ship has massive layers, by the way. So I believe this is Deco 2. So in here, we have like a little, little stairwell. And then we're back to even more rooms. I mean, there's tons. You can see, ugh, it's absolutely insane. I did have to, by the way, turn off many of the lights and all the engines just to try and reduce the lag. Because having the engines on and the lights on were causing a crippling frame rate. Some of them are still on, like so. But majority of the more fancier lights had to be turned off. So here we have a little sign telling me where to go. So below is the engineering, conference room, cargo bay. Up the top is observation. And here is deck 01 got the ready room let's go in the ready room shall we now in the ready room system online cryo seep okay oh i think this is telling you everything so we have 42 large containers 635 corner lights bloody hell 226 large hydrogen thrusters my god let's go in the ready room so the ready room it's like a little rec room, basically. Ooh, and fancy little LCD panels. Now, these can be closed. I don't actually... I think these are doors, aren't they? They are doors. Took me a while to figure that out. They're doors, and they're used as little, like, blinds. There is glass on the opposite side. Oop, oop, come on, game. You can do this. Yeah, and you can see there is glass on the opposite side, so you can just use these as a fancy effect. I'm not going to sit down in case it pings me into third person. Because if it does that, that is not going to go very well for me. 
So in here, I believe this is the bridge command. Here is the flight deck. I found it. My god. Last time I did this, I went down. And going down was a very, very bad idea. I can see we've got the little map up here, which is all ready for the fleet command mod. So I presume... Hopefully the game will handle it. So let's just take a look at some things. Yep. Yep. That's quite handy to have over there. We got lots of fancy little blocks. Look at all these damn blocks everywhere. So goddamn good. Let's get in here. Now I'm going to put my HUD on. And read what some of these things are. So we got hangers. Controls. Thrusters. So I can, if I go to 8... Turn the thrusters on, and we are moving! Do I risk going into third person? Helmet, I've got a reactor alert over on the right hand side. Oh my god. Look at this ship. We are moving, oh my god, the thrusters, look at them! Oh, I alt tabbed. Oopsie, Let come back game. Oh, I'm getting too excited here. I'm getting way too excited, let's go! Oh, the thrusters. Thrusters look beautiful. I love the hydrogen thrusters. The only problem with them is, of course, having enough ice and hydrogen to fuel them. So let's turn. This thing turns like a truck. Let's see if I can find an asteroid. Is there an asteroid? I. Oh, there's one. Let's try and turn this massive beast over. Come on. You do not know how hard this is to bloody turn this thing. Let's go for a collision course. Now they did, the game had an update recently which upgraded the um, crashing physics. So shall we test it out? Now this ship, I put the HUD back on so you can look on the bottom left hand corner just to see the speed of it. It's fairly slow starting up and I have a feeling once you're at max speed it is not going to stop anytime soon. Collision course in 5, 4, Three, two, one. I was a bit early. Oh god. Oh god, please no. Game, please handle it. Please don't crash, please. Oh, did you see that? The whole bloody room on this ship just completely shook. I'm going to try and reverse out. And we'll look at the damage, shall we? Let's get rid of that HUD. So it's like... About five guns up the top here. It wouldn't be enough to actually, um... Hold on a second. I believe it did more damage to the asteroid... ...than it did the ship. We lost a little front part, right there. There you go, look, there's the end of that ship. Yeah, as I was saying with the whole, um, oh wow, that did do a bit of a number on there. The actual cannons on top, it's not going to be enough to, like, stave off other players if you're driving this ship. But it's enough deterrent to get rid of pirates and stuff. Wow, that whole edge bit must have penetrated right through here. This must be the cargo area. Yes, it is. Quite a lot of damage. And I will say, thanks to the update, it wasn't that bad crashing it. It seemed to reasonably be quite stable. So yeah, that is it for this video. I might try and ram it into the asteroid one more time. Oh my goodness gracious me. Bit of a problem a second ago because I tried to override the thrusters to try and get more speed. But that just sent me flying into space. We don't need the HUD no more. We're going at max speed into this asteroid. Give me a good old crash. That's what I want to see. A nice, a lovely laggy crash. I can see little parts flying around. Out we go. Let's go take a look at what we did. So before, it only really handed, like, damage the frontal cone of it. But let's see how much damage we did again. Still not that much damage. 
Well, actually, that's a lot of damage. From the asteroid as well. Bloody hell, look at these. I did not know about this. Mother of gyroscopes. Holy crap. I am glad I crashed the ship. Look at these gyroscopes. Wow. There must be at least a few hundred in here. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, thank you all for watching this video. I'll be back with another Space Engineers video in a few days after another video. I like to alternate between them. So yeah, it's been in the description if you want to try it for yourself. And like I said, I'll be back with another video soon. Bye bye.